This is how to grime and yet again I got 3 short tips this time teaching you how to freestyle better to grime beats and let's get straight into it. Tip number 1 is don't complicate it, don't overthink it like most people do. What they do is think they need to freestyle the best bars they can, the best bars or what they think the best bars are. And when you do something like this, you limit yourself because any bars you do come up with, you judge is not good enough. And when you do that, you freeze, you flop because you can't, you're too scared to say anything. You think the bars are not good enough. So don't do that. Instead, ease yourself into it. Feel the beat. Let yourself flow with the beat. Let yourself say what you want to say. A real easy way to not complicate it and to keep it flowing easily is to use easier rhyme schemes, use simpler words such as shop, drop, top, flop and so on. That will keep you going without having to complicate it. Tip number two is use your surroundings. Use your surroundings. Now this is a very good tip because when you learn how to do this, you'll be able to freestyle for longer, you'll be able to keep on going for longer because you have multiple, you know, sources of inspiration. You'll be able to look at everything in the room and be able to freestyle according to that. And this will help keep you going. Now you don't have to freestyle about the things in your room, you don't have to necessarily mention them, but use them. What do they remind you of? For example, the bed in the room might remind you of how I sleep and brainwash some people and you might want to put that in your freestyle or the couch in the room might remind you of that amazing chill session you had with the bros last night you might want to put that in the freestyle whatever comes to mind whatever it reminds you of whatever the things in the room remind you of and when you do this you find that it's often better than just relying on the things and the thoughts in your head for inspiration or for what to say when you're freestyling now the third thing you can do to improve is challenge yourself do more challenges and more drills challenge yourself by sticking to a particular theme or story as you freestyle throughout the whole duration of the instrumental or you can challenge yourself by sticking to rhyming one phrase or one word for all 32 bars you can even challenge yourself by only freestyling using wordplay and wordplay alone. These are three very, these are three very easy ways to challenge yourself. Now, when you do these challenges, again, don't complicate it. Just because they're difficult or harder than normal freestyling is, doesn't mean they're complicated. Just keep them out they are and do them, do them. And when you do these challenges properly, you will become a freestyling beast. Now that's it for today, if you liked the video, share it, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe.